right, the next problem that I see sometimes at the net, Ken, is people hitting volleys and they're doing excessive crossover. You know, they do it on ground strokes, and you can see that. But we're, we're talking massive crossover where they're turning your hips and they can't get back in position for the next shot. How do you deal with people that have excessive crossover? First of all, usually the, the, the teacher or the coach is trying to demonstrate what dynamic balance looks like when you stop it and make it static, mm -hmm. which is fine because you enter into position, you execute the shot, but then there's a move called an exit that you have to go through the ball again. So we have them kind of move the cone drill, kind of like we did about the player who uh, would cross their legs or do the heavy stomp before. Sure. If they use the cone, they'll find how to use their outside foot behind the ball. I'd say probably the first thing, if you toss me a ball, sure. And I'm just a natural, if you toss the ball to the right, which foot am I going to move first? The right. That foot. I've never had anybody cross over to catch yeah, the ball. But that's taught. That's right. No, I've taught that. Step across. Cross over to make your shot. And it's true, if the ball's wide, but if I'm playing basketball and the ball goes wide, how would I get to the ball? And then I would move forward. Sure. So my first goal is to get behind the ball. So typically when they cross over, it's because you're reaching for the shot as opposed to getting your body over behind right. the ball to be in position to move forward mm -hmm. again. So if I hear you right, what you're saying is the first step in the volley is really the same foot on that side. That's right. But it's not just a step, it's the first step. Right. And then there's a Then you can go step. forward again. If I have to reach for the ball, I'll cross. Right. If I go behind the ball first, I can go forward. Okay. So how's a good way? I'm a high school coach somewhere and I have kids that do this. How do I teach this? Is it a drill? Is it just repetition? I hand feed it? How's the best way to teach this to a kid? Well, one thing, we'll use the cone again if we'd like, but the easiest way is First of all, I try to convince them that the natural way is when they toss the ball, just have the person catch it. Say, catch the ball for me. Which foot did you move? They'll always move this foot. So first of all, they just shown you themselves that that's what they would do. Yeah, a little self-discovery. That's right. So the next part would be to start behind the cone, and I make the volley, but I keep moving through the ball as I hit. Because I'm not going to be able to move through the ball if I do this, and then try to go around the cone. Right. So again, they feel right away that if you enter into position, then you execute the shot, there's an exit move. The exit is getting ready for the next ball. Right. If they cross over, you're going to find the players crossing over and always backing up, yeah. so they can't circle the cone. Yeah. So the cone shows them how to move through the ball to recover, and all the players move through their volleys. Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope that, that's going to be a helpful tip. That so works good on uh, the back end as well, because a lot of times you see players crossing over, yeah. and a lot of times Especially they've been told to end. turn their shoulders. Turn your shoulders. If you turn your shoulders, your tendency is to move your foot across too. Right. The, the shoulder turn actually comes when you bring your outside foot forward. As you go through, as the right foot comes in, this creates the shoulder turn sure. at that time. Cool. All right, so that's a great couple of things to remember if you're helping people and they have excessive crossover when they volley, either forehand or backhand side.